A breakthrough today in those tense talks in B.C. to settle that pipeline protest and end rail blockades across Canada. We do want to begin with that breaking news out of British Columbia. A Wet'suwet'en hereditary chief and government ministers saying they have reached a proposed arrangement. The Wet'suwet'en hereditary chiefs and federal ministers announced they reached a tentative agreement. I'm very proud of the, the, the work that was done by the leadership of the RCMP. Their commitment to peaceful resolution of these very complex issues is, I think, quite commendable. We have now met the conditions that were set. I think now the circumstances are such that those barricades should come down. I think that the province and the federal government wouldn't have bothered to come to the table at all if there wasn't all of the solidarity actions that happen across the nation from coast to coast. I think that it shows a great deal of strength for all Indigenous people to be able to have that platform and for people's voices to be heard. Clearly, the issue wasn't resolved. They put in their part, they tried as best they could to come to some sort of resolution and the government just wasn't willing to meet them halfway. It's clear that this fight's going to continue on, it's going to be a long fight. We're not resting, we're not giving up, we're not standing down, we're not asking other people to stand down. We're still in the middle of a crisis. And that's not going away, and it's not going to go away because they're talking about recognizing our title. And so this is not the time to take a break. This is not the time to sit back and hope that it all works out. This is the time to keep pushing because now is the time to see and actualize and realize our hopes and dreams of liberation.